it is Saturday morning. What time is it? It is 7.30 Saturday, Vlogmas Day 22. Up early. Ugh, I'm out of breath. I have a hair appointment at 10 o'clock in a place in called Polaris. Um, I do have some errands. I'm trying to decide if I want to do those errands first or do it after. Um, but um, I have to go to the bank first. But right now I'm just going to get ready. Abe's with me. going to put lotion on my face, brush my hair. I'm just going to let it down. So, super excited. I have no, like, specific idea of how I want my hair. Because I just want those people that stare and look at so many pics and just can't decide. Um, but basically, I usually get my... Um, Caramel balayage highlights, but I want something a little lighter than that than your typical balayage But I don't know if my hair can handle that, but it's been dyed before so it shouldn't be hard to do because It's all black up here, but down here has been bleached and stuff Um, already so Yeah, I just have like two main pictures. If not, let them think what is best so Gonna get ready and I'll see you guys later Alright guys, I'm leaving the house now. It is it's not too bad outside. No ice on the car or anything. It actually feels really good, like nice and crisp. And I'm sweating. I'm not putting my sweatshirt on or anything. Just got my sweater and some leggings and gotta go to the bank. And then if I have some time, gonna go to Walmart, get some few things here and there. And then, yeah, my hair appointment's not until 10 o'clock. There shouldn't be any traffic. It takes about like 23 minutes or something like that. So. Oh, it feels so good. Alright, see you guys. Back home in the driveway right now. I'm just going to drop things off. I was FaceTiming Ava and she was like super excited about her shirt. Didn't have any Christmas sweaters, but the shirt will do. So let me just grab my stuff real quick and then drop it off to her. Because I want to see her reaction before I leave. I'm going to go open the door. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Holding everything with one hand. Just got some last minute groceries for Monday, for Tuesday, cooking, Christmas Day, of course. Ooh, this is up close here. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Joe! Yeah. Mommy coming! Yeah. Hold on! Watch Ava. I got you something. What's this? You like it? Show mommy. What's that? Snowman? Snowman, you like it? You like it? Snowman. Okay, mommy, go now. You like it? Come here. Show mommy. You like it? No, my Oh, yeah. Let mommy see. Show. Show everything. Show. Open it. Open your shirt. Like, this. Mm. like that. You like it? No, man. Christmas? Oh, Look cool? No, man. Good job. You gonna wear it? Mm. 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 Just gonna eat some a burrito real quick because my tummy's growling. I was just gonna go and not eat anything, but then I might feel nauseous. And I took some chocolate with me because I get um, low blood sugar sometimes. So it's about to be nine. I should be fine. It says 23 minutes, but I don't think there's any traffic, so I should be good. Oh my god, you guys! I was like circling around, freaking like five, six, seven, eight, nine times. And I was like, I'm having anxiety. I don't know where this place is. I I rarely never come to this side of town. It's in Polaris. Uh, it's way past my job area too. And I'm like, snap! And it's a busy area. Lots of shopping malls. Almost like San Francisco area. Like, busy. And I'm like, where the heck is it? The map is like, your destination is on the right. Your destination is on the right. And I don't know. I'm just special with maps and everything. Even with a GPS. It just throws me off and the map doesn't really really help you I'm like oh my gosh and I messaged um, my hair lady and she said 
Um, it's in a plaza where Men's Warehouse and Chipotle is. I'm like, I think I saw Men's Warehouse like every single time I turn. I'm like, oh my god, this is the entrance that I was supposed to go in by uh, the way the map was telling me. I didn't think I was supposed to go in there, so I, every time I would come back around the same area, I would just drive past it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, I got time to breathe, drink my coffee, and figure out what, what I want to do with my hair, but let's do, this is what my hair is right now. It's like two years old of old hair dye, and yeah. And also getting a haircut. Just like nothing, it's just straight. I don't know. I get my usual lots of layers, size with bangs, and uh, balayage highlights. See you guys later. I'm getting nervous. I haven't seen her in a long time. Um, she's not very talkative. That's good too because I don't like talking. But, um, but I feel like I can't really talk to her so I just sit there and be quiet. But it, it's okay. Alright, see you guys later. Hey guys, just got done. It wasn't too long. Um, so I went to my original hair lady. Um, I got my usual balayage highlights and I told her instead of like always getting the caramel color, I do want a little bit lighter. So I'm loving this. She always does a great job and oh my gosh, it's it's obviously going to look different different lighting, but it's definitely lighter, I think. Huh, I don't know, but oh my gosh, I'm so in love with it. So I'm gonna head to Dublin and go to Tour and some other places. Oh my gosh. I feel so pampered. I love the feeling of people when you go to hair salon, or whatever, they massage your scalp and stuff and shampoo your head. It is the most relaxing thing ever. Like I just wanna somebody to like do that to my head 24-7. But I'm trying to get a good angle here, but I love it and had her cut my bangs a little bit shorter she, she did a little more trimming so super excited all right I'm heading to Dublin gonna try to do a little bit of shopping which I don't need to but I'm looking for my tights because I called yesterday to say they were available and then might go to Old Navy and stuff and there's a target there too so all in one place I'll check you guys later bye oh my god guys I have so many things to tell you but anyway I figured out what I wanted to get um i usually don't get ava's dad a gift but i'm trying to be really nice even though he gets my nerves like 90 percent of the time but it's the holidays we're all going through stuff sometimes we're really angry and say things we don't mean when we're mad but you still care and love each other and blah blah, blah. but anyway oh my god i saw something really crazy and I was gonna grab something, which I am, and then sit and then talk about it. But I think my parents are like in a rush to go somewhere, so I just I'll do everything and talk about it when I get home. But um, every time I go to Dublin area, which I'm still am, I um, usually stop at the Indian grocery store and grab me my samosa. They're a dollar each, so I haven't ate anything, you guys, except for that burrito. And that was not fulfilling. And it's two ten right now. Since what? nine o'clock or whatever so i am going to grab some and head home because i was just gonna sit here and talk but then my parents need to go somewhere so let me go in here and grab me my snack and head home and hopefully they'll leave right away and yeah ava's asleep right now maybe if she's in the mood i can try to do her christmas pictures but i don't know um so yeah <laughs> i don't like my hair where's the shop it's somewhere here I always miss it somewhere here. Oh, I'm blind. Did it close down? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, snap. I'm going to freak out. Okay, it's still open. Why? Uh. Oh, it's that way. I'm like, did they move? Don't freak out because I wouldn't know any other place that sells it besides going to an Indian um, restaurant. Now this is a grocery store, so it makes my life easier. It's kind of late, so hopefully they have some left. It's in like this case that keeps it warm and crispy, so yum. 
super excited. Okay. I'm gonna go in real quick and grab it. So I'm gonna head home because I'm tired. All right, got my samosa. I got six and I'm going home. I can't wait to eat them. I'll probably eat one right now because I'm starving. My parents got some stuff to do. See what I mean? When you're a single mom, you always have this little guilt. Like, you know, I'm super blessed that my parents watch my kids. I, why did I say kids? Oh my gosh. I'm so blessed that my parents watch my daughter. But at the same time, I have this guilt trip. And then, you know, like, they say, oh, just go. Whenever you need to go somewhere, let us know. But then it's like, they mentioned that they have to go places and then you feel like you always have to rush and then my parents are always going somewhere so i i always feel like i have to do things quickly and just get home so i can never relax when i'm out and about i guess that's the that's the feeling and what comes with being a single mom or being a parent you know when you have someone watching you whether it's daycare or babysitter your parents or family member right right or just me, I don't know. <sighs> and then, you know, when I'm out and about, I, again, like, I feel like I'm leaving my baby. <laughs> like, I'm neglecting her. Oh, Because, like, if I'm enjoying something, like, my daughter should be able to be enjoying it. If I'm eating really, really good food, like, I feel so bad just eating it. And she deserves to eat the yumminess with me. Oh, gosh. Okay. This area is crazy traffic and cycle drivers, so I'm going to stop and focus on my driving and head home. She's taking me about 20, 30 minutes to get home. I'm so excited to get home. Howdy, just got home. My parents left like they're in a hurry. But anyway, I know I got a, a vest on. Just got this in Old Navy. I've always wanted one, but just never found one I really liked. And I, I was like, whatever, next time, <laughs> next time. But this is caught my eye. I walked into Old Navy hoping to see if there's any dresses, long dresses, but Again, it's like winter time. They're not gonna sell any like spring maxi dresses. But they had their West, I cannot see West right, this on sale for $15. I think it was, like, it was like originally 30 something. Yes, my fat ass fits an extra, extra large. I tried the extra large. I sure I'll pick somewhere here. Um, and um, it didn't zip up. It opened, it looked cute on me, but I was like, mm. I wanted to, to zip up too so I really like this color like I have no idea what this color is I don't think it says on the tag but it's not khaki it's not cream it's not white it's not gray and I feel like I see like a little rose on it I don't know like I can't tell what color this is it's probably coming off like khaki or cream or something on camera but <clears throat> just gonna relax and chill I think my parents um friends came over right this morning um i want to chill and show you some stuff that i got so yeah let me like eat i'm so hungry my mom made some egg rolls right here it's never that great after it's been cooked for a while since morning so it's still crispy but not as much but i gotta figure what to eat and i gotta eat my samosa so i'll check you guys in a bit let's do a quick haul okay this is the vest I got from Old Navy. I really like this color. It's so easy. And it's it's like a plain basic color. I think it'll match with everything. I always try to match, but then again, like, you don't always have to match. I don't know. I'm just crazy. But it looks nice with what I have on now, too. My leggings. Oh, and yesterday I was saying they're very wing. See, I have issues with V's and W's. So, that's where my weird accent comes in. Um these lay leggings on maternity <laughs> when I was prego it's so comfortable it still fits um, it's from a brand called old baby from Kohl's so correction but um I also finally got these joggers from Kohl's they're finally on sale they were originally like 30 something dollars it's still pricey but it's something dollars but they're so comfortable and loose fitting and I plan to wear them to the airport and change into another one but it's these um, jogger sweatpants from a brand called So. It's called the Lounge Life Relaxed Jogger. And it's just loose around your thighs and your legs. And it's just comfortable and it's not heavy feel like a sweatpants. 
so it's breathable and that's what I need when I'm going traveling and in a plane because I don't like being stuffy around the bottom air if you guys know what I'm talking about like I can't like it'll just make me insane especially sitting in one area and just in, in one position in a long time god I need some, I need air so I got your basic gray and I got dark gray as well along with this scratcher 20% off yep both an extra large and let me take this off I'm kind of hot now got this sweater from Walmart a year ago it's like short in the front and the longer in the back to cover your bum oh let me grab you what I went to Barnes and Nobles for that I figured out what I was going to get for Ava's dad I was watching um, one of my favorite YouTubers Terry hi is that your name I'm tripping I don't know I just love her videos especially because uh, I want to go to New York I think that's why I'm so drawn to it because I, I've been planning to go to New York with my best friend so she shows a lot of places here and there so hi so bye so stay but anyway um, she went to go see uh, Michelle Obama um, on her book tour. I don't think she's coming in Columbus, and I don't think I would have anybody to go with me. But anyway, oh my god. Yes, I was like, I need a book to read in the airplane, and Ava's dad is a huge fan um, with the Obamas. We both voted, obviously, and um, it's something that I want to be a part of, so... I could have just, you know, ordered, um, what's that, online read from my iPad, but I want the actual book. So I hope her dad didn't get this already. He's not a reader. He, he cannot read long books. He's just not a reader. He tells me, but <sighs> he better like this one because it's coming from my heart. But anyway, I bought one for him and one for myself, so let me grab it. I'm back. So the lady... It was kind of rude to me, but I did call for pickup, so I decided that I went too because it was on sale. So, what is it called? Becoming Michelle Obama. Oh, it'll give me some time and peace to read this. I know there'll be some very, like, deep down, like, things that she shares in here that will touch a lot of people's heart. I've been reading a lot of reviews and stuff, so I'm looking forward to reading this. I want to read it now, but I think I'm just going to wait until the day I go and just enjoy this. Um, I can't wait, and I'm going to wrap one for Ava's dad. Hopefully, he'll like it. He's going to kill me because he, he's not a reader. I'm going to be like, I spent like 20 bucks on your ass, so you better read it. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's chill for a bit. I'm hungry. Howdy, let's eat and let me tell you the story. So I got my samosa right here. I'm not naked, I just took my sweater off. I have a tank top on, see? Um, excuse my stretch marks. And mom got some egg rolls. Hold on. Move this stuff out the way here. Can I see this? It's like a mini mukbang. It's so good. Sometimes when I don't have anything else to eat and there's egg rolls, I eat this with rice. Am I strange Asian or what? Mmm. So, this story that I was trying to tell you. Oh my god, it's so good. Hold on. I'm so hungry. I'm shaking right now. So, I was arriving at Kohl's, got in my car, walked out, going towards Kohl's, and then I see this, I hear this really bad kid crying, like, 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 horrible. And I thought maybe the child was having tantrum because I didn't quite look, you know. I tend to walk and, like, look on the floor, the ground. So then I put my head up and I'm like, this lady is like uh, like just so angry at the child i can't remember exactly what she said but she yelled and screamed and like um uh, 
like grabbed the kid's hand like crazy and yanked him and like pulling like this and stuff and I think the baby the little toddler he was walking like probably like one or two but most American kids I've seen are smaller than Ava's but I'm sure the kid is like at least two very tiny kid um and it looked like the kid was attached to one of those like you know how dogs <coughs> have leashes and there's a kid version of that it looks like that and the mother was just so frustrated with that child like very abusive and then it was really scary and the poor kid was like ah, like really bad like the thing you should do is because i've been there with ava you know I know maybe in public it's embarrassing, but hold the child, hug the kid, calm the child down instead of like lashing at the child and yanking his arm and pulling him, telling him to like shut the F up and stuff. And I think she did say those kind of words to him. And then like as she's doing that and just just like not handling the child properly, this lady walks out and notices it. And I, I'm not sure what she said, but that lady, turn, that lady with the son already grabbed the baby to... um put her on her shoulders but the way she grabbed him up was very abusive as well it was like not a safe way to handle a child or pick up a child it was like like a raggedy stuffed animal or something like tossing and just swinging like i can't explain like what words to use the way she reacted and treated that child so i'm not sure what that lady said but all I heard was a lot of cussing, and that lady with the child was like, My own business, you, you ugly mofo. I'm like, I paused for a few seconds. I kept turning back because I myself didn't know what to do. Should I call the cops? Not get into the situation? And that other lady just, just went on the way to the store, too. And I felt so bad for that kid. Like, you know. There's so many people out there who wants children and and love kids, love families, and you got this poor kid who has to deal with this crazy mommy. Like, I'm sure she's under some kind of stress. Maybe she's a single mom. Maybe she's having a bad day, but you just can't do that to a child. And it's crazy because I don't know if many of you guys know out there. I'm just going to say it, but... When I first had Ava, I was going through stuff with my mom and just the hormonal changes and just frustration and stuff. And I know what I was saying. I was doing videos and YouTube at the same time. And Ava was crying a lot. And for some reason in my video, I made a stupid title because I was trying to be extra dramatic. And I, it just didn't incur, occur to me that anything would happen. Like it was in my mind. So obviously I didn't do it. But I said something like, I think I, sh I shook my baby. No, I didn't. I cradled her. And I was explaining how she kept crying and crying, how frustrating it was. But I said I shook my, my kids. So somebody called CPS on me and was investigating me for a whole month until it was clear. But it was the most <sighs> dreadful thing ever in my life. And I'm like thinking, even at that time, like I told the lady like, yeah, you're you're investigating me. You don't believe me with all the testing and stuff. Everything was negative, obviously. But there's tons of people out there who actually are being abused. Kids out there, children. And they're like, half the time you find out, it's too late. And this is what I mean. It's like, where's the cops? And and also me, like, I, do I call? How do I even call? I can't even catch her. I don't even know what her life's in play. Like, I have no nothing about her. You know what I mean? But it's so sad at the same time. And, like, I, 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 I turned back and I froze a little bit. And I didn't know what to do because I think of my daughter. Like, you know, I get mad at my daughter until now when she acts up. Again, she's a toddler. Yes, I yell at her. But to yank her arm and telling her to shut the F up and all that stuff and just put her on a freaking leash like a, an animal. Even animals are treated way, way better than this. And like I told my mom I got home, like I froze, you guys. For a few seconds, I just walked back in. I still kept thinking about it. And after Coles was done, I sat in the car for a few more seconds, like just trying to register that in my head, like 
I just wit witnessed something and God forbid, like what is that child going through right now? Is that mom still crazy? Is she still mad? So I pray, I told my mom like, she's like, one of these days, you're gonna get her because my mom always told me, children are God's creation and God's children. It belongs to God or Buddha, but you know what I mean. So, they're, they're the most precious, they're the most delicate, and you almost have to like, they're very precious. Children are very precious, my mom says. You know, and sometimes I feel bad young in my child, but like to beat the shit in my child, to abuse my child, and in public, what? Okay, enough of that. I just want you guys to know, like, th this stuff goes on every day. And you get away with it. And it's the holidays. Can't, like, I can't believe I heard all that cussing. Like, the holidays are coming up. And then some people are just so miserable when you go around. Like, I, I try to say Merry Christmas to random people. I try to say hi. Half of the time, people don't respond to me. Or even smile at me. Or even open the door for me. Sometimes I get the door hit in the face when I'm out and about sometimes by myself. I'm like, okay. But I still do it for other people. Because it makes a difference. Like, everyone keeps reminding you, and I remind myself, that smile can turn someone else's frown upside down. Am I saying that right? Yeah. A uh, hi. A uh, Merry Christmas. A uh, Happy Holidays. You know? Like, today, some people responded to me. Some people ignored me. I'm going to stop and relax now, but that just really, really got to me. I just can't imagine anybody hurting my little sweet Ava or me doing that to my child. <sighs> okay, I'm going to chill. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. I'm so happy with my hair. I'm going to relax. I need to clean, but I think I just want to relax. I don't know. Tomorrow's going to be a fun day. I'm going to try to take a picture tomorrow or maybe later today. I don't know. And then um, tomorrow, going to have dim sum with her dad. Super excited. I don't think he has, he's had dim sum here. He told me a long time ago before, um, well, when we first met, he was saying he had dim sum in Florida on his one of his business trips. He was so good. I'm like, dude to try it here because I found a good place but um looking forward um I don't know he gets on my nerves you guys <laughs> it's like you love him and you hate him I say it so many times and I wish he would just realize what he's doing wrong but I know he's trying but he just doesn't know how it's just very hard especially when someone's a bit older than you they are stuck in their ways and just I mean, men are just stupid, period. But I'm just going to have to prepare myself one day when Ava resents him or get angry. You know, I'm the one that's going to save her and explain things to her. Not her dad, I don't think. But who knows? Things can change. People change. And it's never too too late to be a better person. It's never too late to learn. But as of now, it was happy. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't see anything. We don't let her see what her, her dad and I go through. It's nothing horrible that I make it out to be on you know, the way I say things on camera. It's not what you think. But there are bad days with him, like communicating-wise. <sighs> just doesn't get it. Like, I want certain things for Ava, and he just doesn't get me yeah i don't want to talk about it too much and it's too hard to talk about on here just out of respect and stuff but right now as long as ava is happy ava knows him as her dad that's what matters and if anything in the future ava can decide when she can talk where she can make up her own mind and decisions you know it's on her but right now it's not fair to her that for example, if I stop her from seeing her dad, you know, I'm not that kind of parent. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to him. Um, I'm sure he loves her. He's just not very good at 
stuff. I don't know. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm going to stop talking. It's really emotional, but I'm super excited to read that book, you guys. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. I lied. Let me show you my samosa real quick. I'm watching my own videos. I've been liking watching my vlogmas. I like seeing myself on camera. Am I vain like that? Sometimes I just find it funny on certain things I say wrong and being ditzy and stuff. I find it hilarious. But look. Samosa, it's a dollar each. It's just potatoes. There's a meat one at one of the restaurants I go to. Oh my god. So good. Howdy. It's been like a few hours. Was trying to clean. I did a pretty good job. Halfway done, but then they heard Ava crying. And just got mail. I think I, my um, Ava's and mine's, Ava's and mine's, our hats arrived. For some reason, I ordered for my mom like the day after, and she got hers before me. So, my mom really liked her hat. It's it's by a company called um, Sunday Afternoons. Their hats are pretty interesting. I'll show you. So, here it is. That's the box. Ava's awake. She was crying because I was upstairs earlier. You ready, baby? You okay? Oh, you scared. Okay, guys, I know I look really dorky, but this is a company called Sunday Afternoon, and I look a dork, but it covers everything. I got my mom one. Hers is like a plum color. Um, it almost reminds me of this hat that you wear in, in Vietnam or well, in Cambodia, too, when you work in the fields and stuff. Um, the big rim reminds me of that. Um, but it's weird because if it covers like my whole head like this much. Oh my god, it makes me dizzy because this is in my eye view. But I just lift it up a little bit so I can see. Yeah, this is okay. I feel like it's not in the way. But it does cause me to have a little bit of like dizzy spells. Maybe I have to get used to it. But Ava got one to her. It's pretty cute. But yeah, it covers your whole face and there's like extra fabric back here to cover your neck if you wear something revealing if your skin is showing so this is perfect for Cambodia when I'm at Angkor Wat which is it's gonna be pretty hot so Ava is pretty cute in it let's see if she still has it on yes she does so freaking cute look hers is on sale so the purple one Got her a large size. It's perfect. Good thing I got her the large because I was going to get like a child size. But I'm like, it was big. Ava, turn around. You like your hat? Did you like your hat? Thumbs up. She's in a bad mood. But um, they gave me a free hat. I was like freaking out because I'm like, I didn't order a third hat, but got a free one. So that was kind of nice. Ava, like your hat? Turn around. Let me see. Let me see the other side. Turn around. Turn around. Let me see your hat. Yeah, so see hers the same thing got the little behind covering her back and stuff. So that's amazing All right guys, I'm going to end this vlog. It's been like another hour. Ava is just chilling and Just wrapped Ava's um, dad's present and I'm just gonna edit soon and then just relax got a bunch of clothes in the laundry got a, one more um basket to wash the towels and stuff some is for Cambodia some is for home and then I'm gonna try to finish and organize my whole room and make sure it's spotless clean tomorrow I probably won't finish because I have stuff to do tomorrow and then go from there I'm trying to make it nice before I leave so I'll come back to a beautiful organized room yes so and then I'm gonna try to catch up on some shows and stuff too so Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. Again, happy holidays. See ya. See you tomorrow. Getting close to the end of Vlogmas. Okay, baby. Say bye. Bye. To happy Vlogmas. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Roll kiss. Are you excited about Cambodia? Fly on a plane? Yay! 
Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Come closer. Hi, y'all. Okay, blowfish. Bye. Bye.